weight slower than ever, 72.8 this morning. Oh, yeah? So I'm like nice. kilos ahead of Boston. Because I've been doing this fasted cardio, I just wake up and come here and then do a sweat. I'm ahead of the last couple of times, so I'm doing good. I don't sleep. I wait. Especially fight week. You know what I mean? Limited calories. Yesterday I had four, four meals. Four chicken fillets, nine eggs, an avocado and a half, ber a bowl of berries, green tea, and seven liters of water. Wake them off. And I lost a half a kilo. Whoa. I don't need to sleep. I sleep when I'm... I sleep when the division is wiped out. Then I might take a brief nap when the division is wiped out. Just want to hear what I'm thinking maybe for an entrance. Sinead. <laughs> You've got to be patient here in the, in, the, in the fight week. I feel in the time the same way I feel in the time every other day. I come in here and just messing about, trying new stuff. Hey, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not full on, I couldn't pull back. I'm gonna control them from the bell. And, and not, a, not a lot of people can, can prepare for that. You know what I mean? There's no preparation for that until you're in there and then the lights are shining. And all of a sudden, every move you make, you're getting cracked. I was put here to do this. I have no doubt in my mind. Damn, I look good! You'd be surprised how many times we do get it done. For them pictures and all the pre fight stuff. So I always have to get it done. I love it. <laughs> Loads on you. I don't want that much yet. <laughs> I do. I usually do my makeup myself though. Do you? <laughs> I'm joking. The UFC is to make its first trip to Dublin in five years. Both Connor and Cahill join us this morning. Colourful pair. Good morning to you guys. Yeah, we are matching. <laughs> you are matching. By coincidence or by design? Was uh, this... I don't know. I, I won that most stylish award and it's rubbing off as you can <laughs> see on my teammates here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have all these Louis now at this stage, <laughs> eh? I have that one. I have that one. I have something very similar yeah. to that one. The only thing I haven't got is a black one. For the post-fight press conference, which is after the show, yeah. I'll be going out celebrating, we're going to the, to the club and all that. So. I like your uh, positivity. Yeah. yeah, it's already a done deal. Yeah. That's super slim, right? Just how I like it. What do you think, Dave? Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something I'm gonna have to do, a black suit anyway. I haven't done a black suit yet. The black is nice just before you bury him, you know? Just show respect. Wearing <laughs> black. Champions have arrived. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting uh, Nikita Krylov, uh, he's a good, good fighter. You know, it's oh, you, know, you get, get to this level, you, everybody's Victory. tough. You know, there's no easy fights anymore. You know, I mean, you can have them in other promotions, but as soon as you hit this level, I mean, a fight can go easier, but it, you'll never have an easy fight. Everybody's legit and deserves to be here. So, Brett, hello, Brett from ESPN. What's up, man? How are you? I'm looking to turn around straight away. I know this win, this win is going to put me right up there. 
Pressure creates diamonds, my friend. This is a historic moment for my nation, and I'm looking to grab it with both hands. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Many is it? One and a half. Close to two hours worth. Two hours? Yeah. Are you serious? Wow. That's nuts. Oh, man, can't wait to fight. Uh, I feel great, you know. I never seen him before, yeah, I know. I want to see his eye. He's not a man like a man. He's talking. He's just talking at cameras and shit. <laughs> what happened in the last fight and, uh, with, uh, with Queen? Where, where was your head at after that? Yeah, I'm seeing him fall. I'm seeing him crumble heavy. A hard fall I'm feeling. I feel, I don't know, I'm gonna punish this guy here Saturday night. Looks like we're going to the zoo. We cannot touch any animals. I felt nothing. I feel emotionless. I just, I can just see him falling hard. God damn, that field looks nice. I'm obviously very excited about uh, going back to Ireland, but I don't know if I'm more excited than the Irish are about us coming back to I Ireland. You know, I've said it many times, pound for pound, the loudest place I've ever been. Well, it's gonna be electric. It's gonna be electric. I'm gonna blow the roof off the place, yeah? Off it's gonna place, be, yeah. you're gonna see nothing like this before. Not many, not many crowds can replicate Brazil, but we're gonna outdo Brazil. Yeah. Brazil is loud, when you see Ireland. They really get behind our own fighters. Anyone that fights, everyone is behind them. People that are not even interested in fighting will be behind them. Stay ready, Connor. We know you're ready. July 19th, take it, take it home, yeah? Conor McGregor is such a fascinating guy in that, yes, he is super talented. You know, the question is, can this kid, can this kid break into the top 10? Can he break into the top five? And can he challenge for a world title? If he can, oh my God. Look out, because because the, the Irish are gonna go crazy, man. This is a huge opportunity for the fans in Ireland. You know, they've been waiting for a UFC for over five years, and now co-main event is Gunnar Nelson, and main event is Conor McGregor, um, and they're both very popular over in Ireland. So it's gonna be fun. <laughs>